Welcome back to Empress Radio, where we do trending topics and reality TV and live streams. So join us now. Do you need to build your YouTube channel or do you have a business or website that you need to rebrand? Well, join us now at Empress Consults at www.empressconsults.com or hit us up on Instagram at Empress Radio. Okay, so enjoy the video now. Hey guys, we're live, so giving you a few seconds to come in. we're live can you guys hear me good how's my audio am i clear let me know in the comments um yeah so how's everyone's day hopefully everyone's having a good day i went to get some food i still haven't ate it's like 2 p.m and i need to eat so this video is really not going to be long i just want to come and talk up to you guys about Ariane curry and the shade she was throwing at melody's kids the eminem kids who are innocent in this and i would literally not want my kid to be around Ariane ever you know because she has way too much animosity towards the kids like what in the world who says stuff like this you know so um and she posted and deleted this so she had posted a picture of Knox um so she put this is the picture of Knox right here so she put um three years old full of personality hashtag Maverick Knox Holt hashtag not funny looking at all hashtag a good mix so she had um winter what did I tell you about doing that Every time I go live now, she wants to start playing with her toys when she wasn't before. <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, so what was I saying? See, Winter. <laughs> okay, so at first she had put this. This is what I had saw. Three years old, full of personality, hashtag Nav, uh, Maverick Knox Holt, I love you deep. So she changed the caption when people started realizing that she was throwing shade. What is not funny looking at all a good mix mean? Like, what are you trying to say? Then she says, I love you and Paris Holt. And people are like, Paris Holt, like, what are you on? You know, she was like on some BS last night, you know. Um, and people are like, what are you trying to say? You know, uh, hashtag not funny looking at all a good mix, you know, trying to say that her son is not not funny looking her son is a good mix so like who else are you talking about you know there's only what some more other siblings well I was gonna say three there's only four other siblings that, that you could be talking about unless Martel has some other kids that are a good mix so I just don't understand why you were shading uh the kids like that like they're innocent and then you're turning around and tell, telling everyone that your own son is bad pretty much because you're saying that some stranger came up to you and told you your son was acting up so Someone said he looks bad a uh, handsome tell self. She said, you sound like my friend. Not bad, but oh boy. We were at Paris's volleyball game yesterday and this white man comes up to me and says, mom, you got your hands full. He got a little tame to him. I'm praying for you. I been knew he do too much. It's in his blood. But when random people give you confirmation, it hits different. That's my son though. We keep him busy. Just got done with a combo class, soccer, flag football, and baseball. Now we're only doing baseball and swimming. Bobby's. And who is Bobby's? <laughs> is that supposed to be like her Arian, uh, Arian Nets that she was trying to say? Bobby's. Pray for me. Paris was a princess. Now I got Spider-Man slash Ninja Turtle. But the main part, like, why are you saying um, uh, not funny looking at all and a good mix? Like, those kids are beautiful. I don't know what you're talking about, you know? Those are great looking kids and they're a good mix of their parents, you know? So yeah, I was like, you didn't even have to say that. And then if you only put a good mix, okay, maybe you're just saying like, like I think my kid is a good mix of, well, even though he looks like me, uh, of me and his father. Uh, okay, but the not funny looking at all part, that's when I'm like, okay, so you're saying 
you're saying what we think you're saying. And then I love you and Paris Holt. And everyone's like, who is Paris Holt? And then, so I was saying like, maybe she was saying, I love you and Paris comma Holt, you know, cause she calls him Holt sometimes. And that's why he's confused with his name because you have him with like three, four different names that he has to know. So he's just like, I'm Miles Morales now, you know, she even mentioned that too. Like, oh, he thinks he's Miles Morales all the time. I didn't get that screenshot, but it was in my video last night. So um, I'm going to get to some tea here because this is what I had to talk about this situation. But um, let me read some of these comments. Um, Martel is a trash father for keeping his kids around her, knowing she made several negative remarks about his kids. This man is not a good father. People think he is right. Exactly. I also feel like he also talks about his kids to her. That's why she feels comfortable to say it. He ain't to be trusted either. Right. Exactly. When she said good mix, that reminds me of when she was sh shading Melody's hair saying, oh, Martel just loves my hair, you know? So that's what that reminds me of. Uh, he probably did say something, some slick stuff like that. And we're going to get to it because like I said, I have some tea. Just give me a second. Uh, Coastal is a joke. Has she looked in the mirror and put her son in with her? Right, exactly. Um, she's not the cutest thing. I was just watching a clip of, oh, uh, what's happening? Shout out to her. I was just watching a clip of what's happening where Ariane was like, oh, I always wear a filter because the bloggers will take my um, the worst picture or whatever and, and post it. But I was like, well, if... <laughs> uh, we wouldn't do that if you didn't give us anything to to look for, you know, like if you look your best all the time, like no one does that to Melody because she always looks good, you know. Um, interesting for her to say that they have Martel's signature ears, all four of them, but Knox does not and does not look like Martel. So, yeah, I don't want to talk about the kids. She's talking about kids, you know, and I've been like cutting her a lot of slack lately because I'm like, I just had a baby and I don't want to be talking about people's kids or anything like that. But she's on thin ice for sure. Like she's like one comment away from me going in. <laughs> but yeah, um, it's not nice to talk about kids, but her son looks like his name should be Damien Evo AF. <laughs> uh, people were saying that in her comments, like, oh, he looked bad and stuff. And she was just responding like she didn't care or something. No, these kids don't look possessed, <laughs> see ghosts or have behavioral problems in my opinion. Yeah, I was thinking of, because I have a new channel um, it's not going to be related to this, but I like to watch like um, horror stories and supernatural stories and stuff like that, supernatural shows and uh, movies and stuff. So we're going to uh, talk about that. So I was like, I was going to do a video about him seeing ghosts on that because that's kind of in that realm, but maybe another day. Um, she's a bobbleheaded dummy. I agree. Why is she shading those kids and just was bragging about them making gingerbread houses on Halloween, right? She's doing her best. I think my my theory on why is Martel is not talking to her right now. I think he's seeing someone or they're not talking because she's been throwing a lot of shade lately, even though they said Martel liked the post. Um, but he could just be being shady like, oh, um, you know, we're not supposed to be posting kids when I'm going to court for trying to keep the kids off social media. So I don't know. My theory is they're not talking right now. She's going to learn the hard way um, to keep her big mouth closed, right? Hold on, I need water. All right, she's doing this because she knows she'll be talked about on YouTube, not making a cent from being talked about. Can't even tag her cheap holding line. Right, right. Can you make some money at least like we're doing? Because uh, I sure would be eating right now if there was not money to be made. But I was like, let me just make a quick dollar. And then, okay, let me just finish these comments because I'm like, I, I'm trying to get to the tea. Uh, there is nothing funny about the funny looking about the Eminem kids. They're adorable. Like, what are you talking about? They look like the perfect little Hallmark family, you know? I could see them on a movie. Like, anyway, <laughs> um, I think her kid is funny looking for real, for real. Like I said, one comment away from me saying something um, back because I'm like, I just had a baby. I'm not going to be like talking about people's kids, but she's doing a lot. She's doing a lot. She's doing a lot. That's all I'm going to say. Uh, Miles Morales always looks unkept right. Exactly. So let me, okay. I finally want to talk about this. So I had been um, not going on live late, uh, the last few months. Remember I was pregnant. I was like, um, nauseous all the time and I just couldn't get through a full live without feeling like sick and just feeling awful. So I hadn't paid for StreamYard in a while. This is the, the streaming service for StreamYard. And so when you do, uh, you you don't get to access all the pictures that you have on your StreamYard. And oh my God, there was so much tea, you guys, on here. Um, so I'm going to just uh, go through some of these pictures with you guys because you guys are going to be gagging. Um, <laughs> shout out to Armand Wiggins. But so this clip, this uh, screenshot is when Martel, when he first lost his kids for 58 days, and he was pretty much discussing, because you know how he likes to have a different history, you know, uh, uh, what is it called? Like, 
like he's an unreliable narrator. He always like uh, changes history around. So I'm going to show you guys some of the stuff he was saying when this first happened. Now, it might be a little out of order, but bear with me. So this is what he was saying about Melody because his kids had got taken away for 58 days. This is my real life. I don't even want to film anymore. It's a difference between reality TV and real life. My kids' lives matter. I won't settle for anything less than what's best for my children. And that's 100. At Melody S. Holt hasn't gone live about the situation in 58 days because she's wrong and a liar. Let's see if my case gets dismissed. Um, let me see. Winter, no. Uh, okay, Romans 12, 19. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. Hold on one second, guys. This dog, I swear, as soon as I get live, that's when she wants to start. I swear she doesn't be playing with her toys all day. As soon as I get live, she does it on purpose. Like, ooh, I'm about to make some noise. <laughs> I don't know. That's just what I think she's doing. But anyways, um, so he said, honestly, I can't come up with anything that matters more to me than my children. My life has been on public viewing for a few years now. You've seen the ups, downs, falls, and all. I've learned a lot in the past few years. Hold on. Let me take this spanner off because I can't see um, everything in this video is alleged and in my opinion only. Um, I honestly can't come up with anything that matters more to me than my children. My life has been uh, a public viewing for a few years now. You've all seen the ups, downs, falls and all. I've learned a lot in the past few years. I've gone through some pretty tough times as well. In a moment of transparency, I must say that I've never proclaimed to be perfect, but I am a real father who loves his children. I noticed that many wondered why I hadn't posted or shared the important days recently. Um, let me see if I can find them right here. It's because my ex Melody Sheree Rogers yet again attempted to create a storyline for the show. First, it was the $17,000 judgment that was tossed out after I provided one document. Um, after I, Wait, first, it was the $17,000 judgment that was tossed out after I provided one document. Lastly, there were some pretty wicked accusations she brought against me legally. The judge uh, literally fussed at them within 10 minutes of court beginning and me being the first witness for the accusations without one piece of evidence. And it was dismissed, shaking my head. But God, this has gone on many of times. Let me see where else. It's because they're all over the place. You know how Martell is. Okay. Um, let me see something. And then he said, but God, like um, Destiny does. Okay. Uh, where is it? So the evidence was dismissed, but God... I guess he was just saying how he was um, without the kids. It hurt me to share with them on how much I miss them. This TV show is what you desire to believe, but this picture is my real life. My everything is right here. They are what matters more than anything. I am a father before anything. To all parents, regardless of the issues you've had, the kids matter. Their hearts and feelings matter. Their lives aren't ratings. They're real. Remember, as adults, we don't always think about how me how we may affect them. This was a learning lesson um, and a learning experience, a lesson learned. Um, and then he's talking about Melody. He said, y'all letting fake A bloggers like Dr. Heavenly come on a show that I pitched and brought to Carlos for um, and own. Stop playing with me. I put the show together from the talent to the concept. And this is true. This is my real life. I don't even want to film anymore. Um, and then he talks about the case and stuff. Let me see what else. So that was all that part. Then in the um, in this part, he says, Martel may lie in the caption. Martel may lie. Melody may lie. But the court document is the whole truth. As stated before, there were accusations brought against me that were false, which like it wasn't false. Tank is the one who said it. Like, it wasn't false, you know, uh, allegedly. None of the accusations were true. My children didn't state that they were in any way harmed. Lying. We can pl uh, play the get back game for my facts, but leave my children out of it. There was a message in one of these groups stated that Melody should take a restraining outer on, on, on me. When you go this far, you're dangerous. My kids shouldn't be in this mess. The fact that so many of you idolize Melody is scary. The fact that you will see I never would hurt or harm my kids. That's why it was dismissed. 
I'm not mad at the court system for doing their due diligence and ensuring my babies were okay. I'm upset at the person who felt it was okay to make false reports trying to create another storyline. There's no way God said go to the courthouse and lie to take my kids from me. Now, let me remind you guys of the article that just came out about Martell and this psych evaluation, right? Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I found it. Good for Google, saving my stuff. <laughs> So let me see something. Oops. Let me see something real quick. Let's get your comments. This post is what happened when the first 58 day stuff was going, um, going on. So anyways, let me see. So this is definitely like lies, you know, because this is what the, the recent court documents are saying that he was... Um, uh, people were concerned about his alleged erratic behavior and inappropriate treatment of the kids. You know, the mental, psychological and emotional stability of the father is at issue. We're not going to get to the, get into the whole thing. But based on the father's recent erratic behavior at the minor children's school practice in other public places, as well as his inappropriate, unhinged and erratic behavior towards the mother and minor children, a thorough and complete mental examination and evaluation of the father is essential to the court's decision regarding important issues in this case. Detri uh, detrimental to the physical, emotional, mental well-being of the children and fears that the children have already suffered emotional damage as a result of Martel's irate and erratic behavior. He continued to use corporal punishment against the minor children. She gave an example that on December 11, 2023, he allegedly threatened to tear them up, up once the divorce case was final, referring to the minor kids and said in a separate filing from December 14th, he even offered to allow the children to be on the TV show again if he could use corporal punishment in the future. So yeah, like what in the world? I'm not going to get into the whole article, but this is on The Sun. We talked about it before. Um, so yes, how are Martel and Melody, I mean, Martel and Arion the voice of reason in this situation. She's talking about um, hashtag good mix. Hashtag a good mix. Hashtag not funny looking at all. You're worried about the wrong thing. Like worry about why your kid is seeing ghosts and you have demons in your house because of Martel being a demon. Like I don't understand. The same one who was um, taking ATMs and stuff, robbing ATMs allegedly. And he said he had never seen the inside of a courtroom. But look at this. Who is that? Martel Holt, Samuel Holt, who was on the show. All this is allegedly and in my opinion only. So let me just say that. And then someone had asked Ariane, let me see if I could find it. Like why she's embarrassed of baby Knox or whatever. Why they barely post him and stuff. Let me see if I can find it. So much. I think this is the one. Um, why are you and Martel treating this child like a foster kid? He's divorced now. You nor him shouldn't act like this innocent child is the worst mistake ever. He's here. Show him like y'all love the rest of the babies. Y'all giving his ex too much power. Nobody on earth will make me pretend my child doesn't exist. She said, I don't act like he doesn't exist. Sorry you feel that way. I share what I want to share. I told y'all his name like five names. <laughs> what more do you want? <clears throat> uh, what I choose to keep private in my life, please respect it. I mean, that's true. She, she has the right to privacy. My son is loved and I'm not looking for validation from social media or any other soul on this earth. I am tired of being um, the top and used by a TV show for a fake story to make money. I let them have my voice and it was the highest, most watched episode thus far. I'm done making people famous and my son will not be used as a pawn for the gain of others. Uh, life when we ain't telling all truths respectfully Ari she says and that's not the only thing she said <laughs> side note do you guys remember this when Stormy was being messy and she um after her and Destiny was beefing she was pictured with um LaBeric and the baby mm, messy 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 and at that time you guys were like she's not messy yes she is yes she is <laughs> but yeah so anyways this is some of the other stuff that I found that Arion said went in silence and let them think you're losing um this is, I guess, when she was uh, depressed. I'm going to have to put my um, flashlight on the computer. <laughs> uh, this is for the girl ready to end it all. I've been, you know, wanting to unalive myself for about three years now. Um, it goes from weekly to daily, especially when this show airs because I'm being silenced. The storyline being put out to make money is not the truth. Please pray for me. Some days I feel like I can't go on. I'm trying to move forward, but then I'm mentioned. Like, you let your star take off on her show 
Like, why do I have to be brought up to keep this ish going? Y'all, I can't take it. Your entertainment is my life and y'all ain't getting the half. So why not be a better person and not talk about kids and not, you know, just be a terrible person? And maybe people will have some sympathy for you, but you keep doing things like this, calling the babies uh, funny looking and stuff and expect people to have sympathy for you. And I know she still feels like that because she still has like erratic behavior. Hold on, I need water again. Okay, she also said, oh, this is Melody. Um, you get to decide who you allow in your life. Listen to your intuition. When it kicks in, don't second guess yourself. Usually after your intuition, confirmation will show up from that moment on. Move accordingly. You're removing them ain't the same as them removing you. Pay attention, protect your peace. Like Melody just is a class act. All she'd be trying to do is just give us, you know, good products and give us motivation and, you know, be a good businesswoman. And like, Ariane, she's just a bad person. Martel too, both of them. They're they're a match in heaven, right? And then Ariane has nerve to say, I don't be in nobody else's business. Shit, my own business is too much for me. She also said that Melody has plastic surgery, allegedly. So someone said, you look like a linebacker. Ariane said, you look like a linebacker. So I figured, why not? Um, but she's but her and not relevant without me. Be blessed. Someone said that lady looked better than you. Stop about Melody. And she said, looks can be deceiving. I didn't go get chin, waist, and ass done like her. These are facts. She only relevant because of me. It's sad. Go follow her and support. So if she did, at least it looks good because we saw you in the gym, Ariane, and you're looking like the ant, like the bug's life or the ants movie, really. Like that ants movie. I used to love that ants movie back in the, in the day. <laughs> I'm going to have to find it for my baby. <laughs> um, this is when she was like, like saying likeness, likeness, likeness all over the time. And Carlos King was just posting and she's like, I'm not even trying to get on your show, lies. I want y'all to stop discussing me and using my likeness because y'all won't let me film. Check your DM at Carlos King. She's so annoying. This was when we were saying that she probably knew about, well, she definitely knew about the revenge plot situation because she was saying things like this to Melody and she made a whole Twitter just to make these four posts. How you call me a hoe, but you were a married man in hotels sucking peen, hashtag facts, and not your husband's. Who says that? She made it clear to say that, but it was Martel. But you ain't have sexual intercourse with no one. I will start naming names. Try me. So you are threatening her with revenge plots, you know? You are. Uh, we already talked about that. Wait, no, we didn't. Someone said, Ariane, to uh, to be called a peasant, you're too excited. And she said, stop. They needed a storyline. I've been that bitch. They know it can't get, they know it can't get moved on without speaking on me. Uh, wasn't interesting without me. And then she say it was more than me. I definitely wasn't the peasant, but the one who took her nigga with my eyes closed. Be mad. That's where that came from. Um, I took her nigga with my eyes closed. Mm, interesting. And this was when she was talking about Melody's hair. She said, uh, bitches swear you be jealous of them, but bitch, what the fuck you got on a frontal? Talking about Melody's hair and her hair looks 10 times better than yours. I screamed, the internet is undefeated, she says. This is the one where she was talking about her son and the privacy. I agree that her son deserves privacy, but she's the one that's putting him out there. Someone asked her, would you have done things differently from the way you were portrayed on the show? She said, no, the show is going to portray me as wrong in any way they want to because they are trying to keep up with a false storyline regardless of what I did. They're going to make me out to be the villain showing, I mean, knowing that it's not real life. They want, she's not the villain in real life. You're over here talking about the kids and saying it's a good mix anyway, but you're not the villain. They want ratings and something women can relate to. They get more women who relate to their husband cheating in denial than what's really going on. He fell in love with a young fly chick he couldn't resist. Nobody wants to hear that, but y'all want to see that BS, fake lies, drama makes good TV, and y'all tune in. Well, you're not young anymore, Arion, because we're the same age, and my back is hurting me as we speak, to be honest. I had to take my pants off in the middle of this um this live. I was like, man, my back is killing me. <laughs> so, yeah, you're not a spring chicken anymore, for sure. So, I don't know what that young fly chick means. <laughs> I could see a 21-year-old, but, yeah, you're getting up there. And I, I could say that because we're the same age. I'm 33. So, yeah, I'm feeling it. <laughs> I know you are. <laughs> um, not getting paid to respond to keep these folks relevant. You win, sis, but you're the same person. Oh, this was about... Um, um, Letitia. <laughs> so now we get into the Scots uh, scenario. So 
All this time, they keep threatening to sue bloggers, but not once have they threatened to sue Arion, and Arion is like in their face telling all their business. So you guys remember when Marceau and Letitia went live with Alanda, the hairstylist, because even Melody, sorry, Melody, but Melody had hinted that the ha hairstylist is the one who uh, Marceau was uh, sleeping with because she went on Twitter and she was like, oh, um, yeah, the woman who did your hair for three years and you uh, brought her to um, your house or something to do your, your, something like that. Something like that, Melody has said, I remember. And um, so Ariane was like agreeing that Alonda was the other uh, side chick. And why would she agree with Melody of all people? Anyway, so Tisha was saying something, I guess. And Ariane clapped back, not getting paid to respond to keep the, oh, you know when this was? This was when <laughs> Letitia was on the show, like hinting that Marceau, um, no, on the show, she was talking about Arion. She was like, oh, yeah, you you know what the side chick said? Like, oh, if you say one more thing. And Marceau was like, uh-uh, don't. We're not talking about this. We're not talking about this. So that's when Arion said this. Not getting paid to respond to, the, to keep uh, these folks relevant. You win, sis. But you are the same person who got on live with your husband and a girl he'd been having sex with for three years to deny it. Hashtag laugh at this. So that was that. <laughs> she didn't like that. But she doesn't watch the show, right? So um, <laughs> this is when Letitia asked for the receipts, which she just got, right? I'm stuck on laughing. He went to Africa alone. Uh, someone else said, oh, he didn't go alone. Trust me. I can't wait for the truth to come out. Letitia says, bring it out. So that's when she used to be getting hyped on social media. Now it's just Marceau telling bloggers to unalive themselves and stuff. This is when Ariane said that um, Martel never protects her, but I don't care. This... <laughs> This was when um, Marceau had posted the picture of Chris Fletcher and he was like trying to prove that they were um, like the timestamps that they were together. And uh, Chris Fletcher was like, yeah, no, we only had lunch. So, no, I don't know what you were doing the rest of the time. Who is this, you guys? <laughs> I know they're suing for this, so I don't know what or if this is him. Allegedly, it just is a Marceau Scott that looks like him. Allegedly, and it says Alabama arrest allegedly in January nineteenth, twenty twenty twelve. Allegedly, and I don't know if it's him. And yeah, because y'all like to sue. And this is the the record obstructing government operations allegedly. So I don't know. Age forty two. So I don't know if that's him or not, or if the birthday matches. So <laughs> allegedly, because <laughs> I know how you guys are. And Letitia also had one, right? Um, this is when Letitia, all her records came out and Marceau had to come and defend her. What did he say that she did? So people said that she stole a bear or something. He's like, yeah, it wasn't a bear. It was some $10 lip gloss that my son was playing with that she took from him thinking was hers. Put it in the stroller after purchasing $125 worth of goods. It is what it is. Um, say what you got to say or shut the F up. What will any of your words do? They ain't stopped nothing and won't stop nothing. Yes, we all got a past, but we also got a present. What you doing while talking? What you doing now? Google us and them because we slash they damn sure ain't Googling you. So when all this stuff happened, um, all these records that Black Titanic had pulled out, it was alleged that Letitia had... Um, some type of theft, allegedly, from taking something from a belk. And somebody testified, a black man testified that they witnessed it. And that, uh, hold on one second, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. My dad's like, I'm hungry, so I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Anyways, um, so let me see. They said Tisha, a black man, testified that he saw it, that she put some something in the stroller, allegedly. You guys saw Marceau had responded. So it's not like I'm making it up. So don't come for me. Tisha was found guilty at trial and fined $300 and $200 court uh, cost sentence to 30 days. Um, but it got suspended and maybe 12 months probation. But she appealed and she just had to get a four week theft diversion program. Um, and then. Yeah, she, she got a theft diversion program and went on with her life. That's what it said. So this was the documents that proved that it was what happened. So I didn't make it up. Don't be trying to come for me. I got all the receipts here. <laughs> and there's another one, theft of a third degree property. Interesting, right? There was another one where Marceau had responded to this. 
Oh, yeah. Someone said, I'm shocked. I just saw a post of Mugshot and arrest record of Marceau and Leticia. And I wonder why they're taking, uh, while they're telling Kiki's personal business to Mel and Martel, I wonder if they told Mel and Martel that they had been locked up too. And Marceau said, newsflash, they were black in America. One was for owning an unsafe um, building. And the other one was for telling an officer that he was, I don't got the rest, but I think it was like doing too much or something. But yeah, so that's what Marceau said about this situation here that ended up in this because they didn't care when Kiki's was out, but they sure cared when his was out. Right. Cause that, that's when they were responding. And Leticia said, I am extremely protective of the person I'm becoming. Don't F with me. Play time is over. So yeah, <laughs> that was when she used to clap back all the time. So these are all the screenshots that I had in my repertoire. I was like, cause what happened was StreamYard's like, you need to delete some images. You have too many. So I was deleting them and I was like, this is a lot of tea here. We got abatement charges and, you know, liens on properties and all kind of stuff, you guys. I was like, wow, there was a lot of tea in these YouTube streets a few months ago. <laughs> like right before I got pregnant, but like everything was booming. And so I um I was about to delete these uh, images and I was like, wait, so much. Like Arion um, threatening Melody saying, uh, I would try me. I will start naming names, you know, like she that that uh, hotel room or whatever. She knew that that was Martel and not your husband's. Like, she'd be lying. And then Martel talking about the custody case and stuff. Um, before he went back and tried to lie and say that nothing ever happened, we got all kind of uh, proof that that was a lie. Man, but yeah. So, anyways, we really got like all the way off. So, if you guys just came in, I was telling you guys about how Ariam posted this and then deleted it. Well, she did. She uh, changed her caption. So she posted a picture of baby Knox, this picture. And then she said, three years old, full of personality, hashtag Maverick Knox Holt, hashtag not funny looking at all, hashtag a good mix. So who are you talking about not funny looking at all? And who are you talking about a good mix? Like, why are you saying that? You know? So I was like, I'm not trying to talk about your son or anything because I just had a baby and I was like, I'm not going to do that. I feel so bad for him that he has you as a parent, you know, and he's a sweet, well, he's a good, a good kid. You know, he looks, he looks like a handsome little kid, you know, with anyone else's uh, authority over him, he would probably be like way more advanced than he is right now. But having Ariane and Martel as a parent, uh, and she even said that somebody came up to her, this white guy <laughs> of all people came up to her and was like, mom, you got your hands full. He got some tang to him. That's like Alabama I'm going to speak for it. He bad, right? And she said, he's not bad. He's all boy. What does that mean? Anyways, but she's like, the guy, the white guy was like, I'm praying for you. And she said, uh, I've been new. Knox does too much, but because it's in his blood. So Sam Martell does too much. But when random people come give you a confirmation, it hits different with a heart emoji. Like, I don't think that's what he meant. <laughs> like, he was like, can you get control over your son? You know, uh, that's my son, though. We keep him busy, though. And then she says all the stuff that, that he did. And um, yes, anyways, child. let me get to some of these comments and then I'm about to go eat. So and it's a lot of them. Dang, you guys really have popped in. <laughs> Hey, I can't even get to where I started. Not Arion calling Knox funny looking. She wishes her kids look like the Eminem kids. Yeah. That little girl wants content creators to talk about her foolery. She's a bum and has nothing going on and never will. Oh, it's an egg emoji. <laughs> I remember this. My bad for using the emoji you were unfamiliar with yesterday. Whoever egg, love your content. That's funny. That's actually because I remember that. <laughs> I was like, what is this emoji? Um, Martel is so crazy. I really feel sorry for his kids. Yeah. Um, a, a real father does not go outside to create another family and hurting his kids, leaving them with a broken home. Right. You like destroyed your family and yourself. Like he's like a shell of himself, you know, um, the judgment wasn't dismissed. It wasn't, he lied so much. <laughs> he said that it was dismissed. He said his kids never said that he did anything to him. Like, no, your kids, didn't they testify against you or something like that? Allegedly, man. Anyways, he lies so much and it's, um, about things that can easily be verified. Right. If his kids matter, he would have not cheated, right? He's a clown. Someone wrote a dissertation filled with lies on Martel's behalf. Martel believes his own lies. I really wish Carlos would fire him. He is the one who told Mel to control the millimeters, right? Yeah, because he's like, oh, this uh, you guys follow Melody all the time or whatever. Um, if this fool doesn't want to film, don't let him. He beat Tink allegedly and had to go to therapy with Tink allegedly. The judge ruled no corporal punishment. He also said after court is done with the custody, he is going to tear the kids. Man, that makes me so sad. 
The kids are tired of Martel hitting them. Yeah, they're tired of him. Remember how he told Tasha K, like, oh, they were bad AF or whatever. It's because he, um, oh, and then what Paris Holt, why are you saying so? Sorry. Um, where was I? Um, oh, the kids, when Tasha, when he told uh, Tasha K, the kids came back bad AF. I heard it was because they just didn't want to be around Martel. Like they didn't want to go over there. So that's crazy. Martel caused all the emotional damage. Yeah, he's a mess. And then you got this side chick bird that's like around your kids. If I was Melody, I would be in jail right now, and I know it. <laughs> That's why God didn't put me in that situation, because I would be in jail. I'm like, you know what? Somebody pay my bail. I'm going to jail. They can be shown on TV if he beat the kids. Wow. Yeah, that's what he said, allegedly. That bird knows how to gather y'all attention. The only way to protect Melody and her four-piece nuggets is not to respond and to continue to keep them wrapped in prayer. I mean, I agree, but there's a lot of people in the chat right now. So shout out to you guys. So someone's watching. <laughs> I hope Knox doesn't have early onset mental illness seeing ghosts. Yeah, he said he was seeing ghosts, child. And he said they were causing trouble. I was like, ooh, they got the bad demon, you know. Um, when court this month for the DV, like sometimes my baby stares off into space and my mom's like, he's seeing angels. I was like, don't say that. <laughs> he's just a baby. He's just looking around. Uh, but yeah, um, when court this month, I don't know because the court keeps changing. Who is more funny looking than Arion? How dare she talk about the Eminem kids or looks or behavior, right? Knox looked like Arion Perry. He does look like Arion. My baby looks like me, you know. Uh, you broke up an entire family. What peace can you really expect to have, right? Actually, Knox looks like Arion, not Martel. He looks just like Arion. Did I say Arion? I meant he looks like Arion. <laughs> um, Mel can use that funny looking post against Martel. Continue girl running her mouth, right? And this is why we have to talk about these things. Because I just hadn't been on StreamYard for a few months. And look at all this tea that I just uncovered, you know? Um, well, recovered. Because this is stuff we had talked about. Arion. <laughs> Not airy aunt, you guys. That's funny. So does this dingbat realize that she's talking about her boyfriend kids too? Right. That child is thirsty for attention. Ariane is miserable. Like, ma'am, you wanted that lady's husband. You finally got him and you still press. It's giving obsessed like you want to be Melody. I agree. What you put on the internet will live with you forever. The kids will see all this one day. Yeah. Someone said Knox looks slow. This is their opinion. Yeah. And a girl, one day you will need and want forgiveness. Yeah. 34 years old is not that young. That's why I was like, you're not young, girl. Stop. <laughs> um, AC is good at what she, like, I was two years away from having a geriatric pregnancy. Like, if I would have waited two or three more years, and I still develop gestational diabetes. Um, but you guys, my, my numbers have been looking really good. I'm so proud of myself because they said, um, you know, my hormones just had to regulate and stuff um, so that the diabetes will go away after I have the baby. And my numbers are looking really good. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. Anyways, um, Ariane Curry is good at what she does. Sad she doesn't get paid. Side chicks come a dime and dozen to men like Martel Hope. Mm -hmm. It could have been anyone, really. Um, uh, Ariane was just the bird who stayed around. That funny looking comment is going to get a rise from Mel. Court is coming up, but Mel will not lose her cool this time. Just pull up, girl. Just pull up. Right. Yeah. I'm just, I love that Melody is like better than me because I don't be hand handling stuff good. So she handles stuff the right way. Because I don't know. Ever since I had the baby, I'm like, I'm like in bear mode, you know? Um, hopefully Mel will take all this to court system. You can't talk about my children and think you, you could continue to be around them. Right. I would get a restraining order. I would actually, you know, I would be in jail because <laughs> I, every time I say what I would do, oof. yeah, uh, stop giving Ariane attention, but look how many people are in the chat. <laughs> Why is uh, his son picking up lipstick? Lip gloss. That was, that was Letitia. <laughs> uh, she might not be saying, uh, she might be saying not funny looking because someone said her son was funny looking. Y'all got to stop reaching. This does not mean she's talking about Melly's kids. Come on. And then she said a good mix. She was talking about them. You guys don't be so, don't be so dense. You know, um, why are they not questioning Martel? They, there is no way Arion has their info without his input. Seriously. Martel needs to be put on blast. Yeah. A married woman. <laughs> she should have stayed in school. Yeah. Someone was just saying how bad her grammar was. Um, She's the funny looking one. Someone who always needs a filter says a lot about her looks. Right, exactly. She admitted that she had to have a filter. Otherwise, the bloggers would catch her looking crazy. Like, we can't catch you looking crazy without a filter if you didn't need a filter. <laughs> she needs to do better. She does need to do better. I agree with that. She does. No discipline. Who is Paris Holt? Who is Paris Holt? Who is Paris Holt? <laughs> who is Paris Holt? 
<laughs> Paris Hope Martel said loud and clear that he is not the stepfather and that Paris has her own daddy, which he does. People were mad at that, but Paris does have her own daddy. And I wouldn't want, if I was Paris' dad, I wouldn't want Martel claiming my daughter. I wouldn't want anything to do with him, you know? But she was not saying Mel's, anyways. Yes, she was. Um, Paris Holt, Martel said, okay, I read that. Silence is golden. Arion Curry continues to produce evidence why Melody needs full custody, and Arion Curry should not be around her children, provide, proving Martel is not the father he pretended to be. Right, exactly. Um, Martel, Martel being the narcissist he is, will always be on this smear campaign because he's but hurt that, Mar that Melody is done with him for good. She discarded him, and he's mad. He can't control Melody. She's done. Right. And some people will attack you when you speak about Nas. And I don't. That's what I'm saying. I was like, I said one time that his develop. Okay, look, everyone talks about Krishan Rock's son not developing at the stage that he probably should. He's six months now. My baby's five months. And I see the development differences between my son and Krishan Rock's son. My baby does like a lot of stuff. And that's not talking about him. One time I said that Arian Curry's son showed like signs of like, delayed growth in his speech because he's and that was like a year or two ago and he's still not speaking like how someone his age should like why is that wrong that's not talking about him that's just saying that you know we noticed that maybe Ariane should put him in some classes or or see somebody to figure it out like what's going on you know I couldn't pronounce a few things and my mom put me in speech therapy when I was young and I like I couldn't say like sentences like certain things like that and they just was like, oh, you have to like, you know, give you some tongue exercises and stuff. And then you go about your life. I don't get why, like, what's wrong with that, you know? But as in terms of like going in on him, calling him bastard and stuff, I don't do all that. I don't do all that. And he seems like a sweet kid that probably loves his mom and just cries a lot because he doesn't have no structure and because Arion's busy chasing Martel, to be honest. But there's nothing wrong with the little boy, you know? I don't see anything wrong with just pointing out that he could benefit from some help, you know? That's all. <clears throat> People were saying he didn't look like Martel, so that's what she was saying. Okay, and if that's the case, if that's what she was saying, the whole hashtag not funny looking at all, hashtag a good mix, why did she change it to Maverick's whole, Ma Maverick Knox whole I love you deep? Why did she change it if that was the case? If she was just simply saying, oh, you know, he's not funny looking. My son's not funny looking. My son's a good mix of us both. Why did she change it? That's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all. I'm not trying to argue with you. Um, Miles Morales looks like he bites people. I'm sorry. I would not want my child in the same class as him. <laughs> my parents said I used to bite people. That's why I'm laughing. My parents said I was a biter when I was young. <laughs> so whenever my baby bites my breast when I'm breastfeeding, I'm like, I guess that was karma because I, evidently I used to be a biter. <laughs> um, my son had a delay in speech. I got him speech therapy and he's doing great now. Right, right. Like my little brother, they said that he didn't talk for a few years and he always talks now. He never stops. <laughs> um, Empress, you're not the only one that notices it. You're okay. Yeah, I don't want to talk about the little baby. Like, he's just a little baby. He's innocent. He's really innocent in all this, to be honest. Like, I wish him nothing but the best in life, to be honest. Uh, she's such a bum. That bird was making fun of Eminem kids. We are not slow over here. Yeah, come on. Come on. Why would she change it? Kosa has said many things about Melody's kids, yet say uh, something about her child, and she goes into a frenzy. If you don't want people speaking on your child, keep Mel's kid's name out of hers. And that's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. They can't even keep him in daycare, home all day with her. And we're going to end it there because that comment said it all. <laughs> for real, for real. All right, so what do you guys think about this? Drop your comments below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more videos from Empress Radio. Okay, bye.